Hi, this is Jack from Jack's Garage. Today I'll be installing new door handles on my 2013 Dodge Ram 1500. Which currently I have these plastic dark black ones that are starting to fade. Today I'm going to show you how to take off the door panels, remove the door handle itself, and then install the new ones. I'm also going to show you how to take the door handle apart so that you can get it color matched for your truck. I've removed the door handle to show you the hinge on the back side. I got a drill bit and drilled out the beveled end that's closest to where the screws were. Once you, screw, once you drill this out, you can push the pin through. It looks like this. This piece will slide out and then it comes apart like this. You've got your spring, you've got the hinge, and then the pin's pulled out. Now that will allow you to get your back piece painted. So if you have a chrome, or if you have the ones that are paintable, you will be able to take it apart and spray both. So I'm going to reassemble it. What I did was go to Home Depot and find the exact diameter of your pin to make sure that the screw matches that. And then I got two washers, one on one side and one on the other to allow it to kind of go back and forth when the hinge mechanism is going up and down. So you take this piece, squish it back into place, there we go, then you slide this in just like you would as you were reassembling if it was the pin going in there. I'll take the screwdriver there we go put that in place then you get your washer on the other side and place that in and then take a little bit of thread locker and put it on the edge there then that will keep it from sliding back behind the door panel if it ever comes loose. That should keep it on there solid. I'll also use the nylon nut on the end so that would keep it holding for a long time. So the thread locker and the nylon should keep them together. So you screw these until it gets nice and plumb or nice and tight. And there you have it. So then we test out our hinge mechanism. Looks like it's working great. It's not backing itself off of it. So there we have it. I'm going to put it back on the door. Now to take off the door panel. We'll need to remove this A-pillar piece. We've got to take this off. There's a, there's a Phillips head screw behind here and then there's five Torx 10 that you'll need to remove off around the panel. So I've got my Torx 10, a big Phillips head screwdriver, a small flathead screwdriver, and then my panel puller. So I've got this on. We'll pop that off. And we've got the Torx 10. I've removed off the other three. I just have these two remaining. Once you pull the Torx heads off, there's a little plastic kind of grommet behind it that you'll need to remove and then you can just use your regular flathead screwdriver. Yeah buddy. And drum beam. Oh yeah. A black one's drum beam. You got your horses? So we remove those pieces. Now you'll need to get the small flathead screwdriver to pop this little piece off here, which reveals a large Phillips head screwdriver head. Get that removed. Pop up the door panel. Once you remove that, there's one plug behind here for the door, door window control. On the door, there's this little access panel. 
that you can pull down and then be able to access the back side of this. So here's your connections where we'll have to hook or unscrew the bolts. I like to take these three bolts out to allow easier access so we can kind of pull it up and see. Pull it up, you can see it. Now I have small wrench with the number eight millimeter that will get into there and then be able to loosen it up. So kind of peek in, feel around where that first first bolt is to loosen it up. So I removed the last screw and we're ready to take off the door handle. So I kind of slide it forward. There we go. And there's a clip on the back side. And that's the clip. It just pops through the hole and you clip it on there. I'm going to take some spray, wipe it off clean. So there's no dirt behind our new one when we put it on. So now we're going to attach this piece back on. So we slide it through here and then clip that on. And then that top hinge piece slides in. Okay, we've got that attached. Now we've got to put those three bolts back in. Now you need to feel around on the inside of the door panel to get those three screws back in. So you kind of can take a peek or you can pull that pry piece back so you know exactly where the hole is. So once you pry this back, you can see the screw hole behind there. And then you can do all three that same way. Peel this piece back and then pop them in place. To finish up this rear panel, you're going to pop the access hatch back in, clip the window, controller back in, and then just pop it on. It's just reversing the exact same process to put it back on. The next step, I'm going to show you the front door, how to actually take out the lock mechanism and put it back together. So we'll just screw the screws in, pop this piece back in, and I'm finished. We've moved on to the front door. I've taken off the door panel, I've removed the three screws, now it's on to getting the locking me mechanism off. There's two pieces. There's one a clip that's on the hinge, and there's one a clip that's going to be on the locking mechanism. I've gotten two zip ties so when we do pull it off, it won't get lost back into the door. So with a little finagling, you can see the clip. So we've got to get that to pop out. Okay. Let's see. So with a little work, I've got it removed. So there's two clips, like I'd said. There's one in here, which will pop up. We're getting this piece off, buddy. Mm -hmm. This one here. Oh, man. Well, the first one broke right off. So it looks like this piece is going to hold in place. And then we just need to work the other one off. I do have a spare clip that was on one of the door handles that I've already taken off. So I've got the second one off. So they're both there. I'm going to tie the zip ties on there just to be on the safe side. So 
so they shouldn't go anywhere. So this piece here, the mechanism for the lock, should just pop out. So now I've got to replace this little clip that uses this as a lever. I've got the piece now. I've got the little piece that I broke off replaced. And then this just slides right in. You can see the two pieces here it lines right up with. Should be pretty, pretty easy to uh, reconnect. So I'm going to wipe this down and then cut the zip tie off and then we'll reinstall the door handle. So we've got it cleaned up. It's just like when we took it off. Pop it on the exact same way. Clip my zip tie off. This little one seemed to be kind of stationary. So that should be easy. I'm going to pop it in the hole. Put the piece and clip it in. So that's in place. And then our next one that attaches to the hinge kind of mechanism, this one will slide back and do the same thing. So I'm going to pop that in place, clip it in, Let's see if I can push that in, there we go. So this one will kind of slide back in like when we took it off. All right, there we go. So to finish up, I'm just going to install the door panel just like before, same way we did the back one, and then finish up. So that's kind of what the finished product looks like. Thanks again for watching, and tune in next time when I install the overhead console with the home link feature.